this round. Yeah, this is this is an old school strat when Overpass was uh, younger. Lots of eco rounds and a lot of force buys. The CTs would just stack the sites because that's where a lot of the close quarters advantages are. They can play the numbers game better and have crossfires with their pistols. So it's going to be hard for, or well, it won't be easy rather, for Optic to take one of these two sites. Three players towards B for Envy at the moment with all these grenades being deployed as Optic take their map control. We might see a rotation towards the A site. You can see Happy just spotting. They want those close quarters engagements. They want them, the Optic guys, to move into that one tap range with these P250s and CZs. Side to move forward, now getting close to that A-bomb site. Problems now starting to arise. Apex with a quick frag, but the rest of Optic now found their way onto the bomb site. Smokes down, making their lives a bit easier on the entrance. Looking pretty good overall here for Optic. You can see a very deli deliberate, very considered push has worked. And their timing was great. They, they left with 20 seconds here with the end of the round. So generally, that's, that's, that's a really good way to start the day. Methodical, disciplined rounds where Optic cross all their T's, dot all their I's, everything's looking good. So 2-0 opening, they just have to clear out the, the ecoing. Envious players now should be much easier. There's still the MAC-10 in play for Optic, so there's, there's, it should be no issue. Envy are a team where when you see them lose a pistol, it's very common that you see uh, Kenny starting with no armor. AWP no armor in the first buy rounds. Ideally on round three, you want to have 34.50 in the bank to buy the AWP in round four. He's got 27, uh, maybe even less than that actually. Yeah, he, he had 27, so he's gone out to 24. So he's got $1,000 left, less than he normally would have. So we can expect him to be AWP no armor at the beginning of this, at the beginning of the buy rounds for these two sides. But again, it was a good, a good measured approach from Optic in the previous round. They gave themselves enough time pushing the site. They still had 30 seconds on the clock. Um, so there was there was time for error correction should anything go wrong. Envy with a full stack into the B bomb site. Can Optic identify this? You see them moving away now. The entire team abandoning the B area. All will go quiet for Envy, but will they rotate as well? Yeah, Optic going for the right choice. We'll see have to see if Envious will go for a timely rotation or if they'll just be if they'll just sit on the B bomb site and just enjoy. Enjoy the B-bomb site, the lovely sights of B, as the bomb goes off on A. Because that is about to be the reality here, as the bomb does get planted by Mixwell. And you can see actually Envious going for a bit of a rotation, seeing if they can pick up some kills. Sandstore, he's hungry with that MAC-10, wants to make the money. And he might be able to do that long-range MAC-10. Don't see that every day, but I'm not going to give him too much just yet. Naf's going to be the guy to get the kill on the six. And you can see that Envious have actually fanned out somewhat here. They want to try to create engagements which are favorable and surprising to the Optic players. So maybe they can steal a weapon away or at the, at the very least not give up free, free uh, kill reward money for the players from Optic that are carrying guns like a MAC-10 or a UMP. So far so good for Optic on overpass. No deaths in this round, making that paper. Now the question is, will we see the uh, MAC-10 retained for the following round with the force buy from Envy? Optic will know that there are no, uh, or a few helmets. In fact, Kenny is going for M4 and armor, so maybe uh, the AWP wasn't the plan to begin with, but I mean, he is the AWP for the team, so that is somewhat surprising. Stanislaw indeed will continue with the MAC-10 in this round, and as you can see, there isn't a single helmet onto Envy, so for example, if he goes towards short B, he can have a lot of success with that MAC-10, should Envy choose to push. No push from Envy just yet, as you can see there. Going to be spotting passively towards B to start with. A lot of action from Optic. A lot of teams will just have the one player lurking outside the monster tunnel, however, they've got Stanislaw and Victor on short B, and enough light on the lurk as well. Yeah, just playing it very passively, but they do have Optic that is some good map control. Nasty dink there onto Tarek. I wonder if that... Okay, I guess that must have been with a rifle, but yeah. Optic with good control over connector, over sewers. They can start to... They have time to work into toilets a little bit just to create presence everywhere and make life very hard for Envious to guess where to put their players. Right now, their players are on A, well, mostly. We have three players on A and a kind of a passive setup on B so they can play retake. So they don't commit and die. They can just play the, the delay game, allow their own rotation to come in if the B site is attacked. But again, right now, I mean, it's very hard for Envious to know what's happening. And Optic themselves looking for options. 
Sandstorm's gonna, I think, find it quite difficult to get in with that Mag 10, but once he does, there's no helmets indeed, so that's gonna be a fun times for him. What is the play from Arctic Gaming? The bomb is in short B, but they've got three players towards A. Mixed well with the UMP, he's the front man towards the B bomb site, but uh, they need to make a move here. Stanislaw and Tarek are moving towards the A bomb site. They're really running the clock down. Our Optic. 20 seconds left. They still aren't in any site trying to offer the fake. And maybe Penny and Happy are rotating actually. Two players on the B bomb site here, but one mistake and everything could fall apart for Optic. And there we go. Two players picked off the top. Stanislaw goes there, goes Tarek as well. Wow. Complete annihilation on the B bomb site. No one died, James. No one died for Envious. Nobody died. Kenny can have all the armor he wants, all the AWPs he wants, all the grenades. That is, that's a really interesting deal actually because Envious there, they just found out that if we play really passively and play those setups very, in a very tight manner and we can give, we can give up the map and Optic still aren't going to have necessarily an easy time. So Optic are going to have to be forced to try and try out other things if, they, if Envious play in that passive, passive setup. But Envious, they might try to mix it up. They might try to defy some expectation. We'll have to see. Right now, it is very passive once again from Envious. Three players towards the B bomb side early in the round, but we will probably see that change into a 3 2 setup as the time starts to tick away. And once again, Optic, they've got themselves connected with Mixwell. Oh! Mixwell finds himself an offering, and he will accept that graciously. That's a nasty surprise for Sixer. That's maybe the uh, opening that Optic Gaming were looking for in the previous round and didn't manage to achieve. Most of the numbers, though, towards A long at the moment for Optic. Maybe they will expect a rotation. Maybe they will expect two on each side. That is the case for the time being. You can see Apex moving into a forward position with Kenny offering support from the site. Again, the CTs have the shadow advantage in these angles. Nice little banging coming in there through that common area. You see the CT fighting. There's the bomb. That means rotation for the CTs at the very least. 48 seconds. Got a push here from Long as well. And Kenny's going to have a lot of work to do, but he can't do anything. Four versus two now. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. I think Apex played that very well, but there's only so much he can do. MBK now, oh, he's taking a line up, but he can't get anything out of that. And I, I think uh, even though the four players survived there for Optic, I think that was a lot closer than, than it otherwise would suggest. Apex obviously after getting that, that kill and spotting the bomb. I mean, he, MBS knew that they had to make a play after this frag from Mixwell. They can't just play passively Man. anymore. You, just, you can't play passively. You have to try to get the advantage somehow. And the push comes in, they find the bomb. Apex tried to play for the delay, but Optic, they were already in position for the split. And that was just too much to handle. So that's, that, considering that MBS just had such a successful round, that is going to be a huge live relief for, for Optic. Again, Optic. Their current default seems to be three people towards the B bomb site and control of short B. Such a powerful area to keep control of. Envy on the pistols. Their success was brief. On to the CT side. Averaging about $2,700 at the moment on the uh, on the NV team. So we'll see what Optic's anti-eco is like. Not afraid to run the clock down on oh, the Optic Gaming side. Again, Mixwell, Mixwell's in the uh, bottle molecule position. That is, uh, th that's uh, something waiting to happen at some point. So let's see what MB can do. Often you'll find the uh, ecoing the CTs in the connected area. Those close, close quarters can be advantageous. Speaking of which, that's the bomb no less, but only one CT there, so they can't hold on to it. Quite nice though, bit of damage in there, then that could turn into more maybe. There's two players on B. Kenny is in the forward position there towards A, so they realize they're already rotating now. They know what's going on, but again, they just don't really have weapons. They don't have armor. There's surely not too much they can do with this. Optic are very methodical in how they push, but maybe MBS can find themselves a couple of headshots. MBK with the deagle has a good position. Can't land a shot, though. The aim punch is far too much. Kenny S comes in for the back with the AK. Spray chance doesn't work out for him, and the round is closed down by Optic. Again, love to see, or loving that we're seeing from Optic, methodical, disciplined play when they're against pistols. So far, it's working for them fantastically well. By coming out once again, Kenny has exactly the money for the AWP, but again, he doesn't buy it. We've seen so many matches recently where he's just running around naked with the AWP, but just going for the rifle again and again. I mean, he's the man that you look to in Envy to have the big performances, but we haven't seen a sniper rifle on him yet, and it's 5-1 to Optic, so this CT side may slip away from Envy before we see him on the big green gun. 
Optic with a change of approach. This time we don't have a fast pace towards short B. Keeping Envy on their toes. Oh, this grenade could be money. Landing on Apex's lap. Simply finding the uh, Tracer Fire at the right angle. So the back off, continues to harass in the meantime. Passive positions taken from Optic around the fountain, but Taran is starting to creep. Yeah, nice change of, of approach indeed from Envious. Now, trying to deny what Optic have been taking for granted. Disconnect to control, but looks like it's going to be taken back here by Optic, leaving just three players for Envious. A man disadvantage, and somebody has to step up to make the play to get Envious back into this round. It's looking like Kenny is stepping up to that occasion, but it's just not a good engagement for him. Multiple players from Optic there will easily snap him up, and that's now just one player towards A. This is a, an absolute disaster here for Envious. And a Sixer can do something ridiculous. There shouldn't be a way back into this round. And speaking of, the, of which, in fact, they're going to avoid Sixer altogether. It's going to fall to NBK over towards B. One versus four. Good luck, Mr. NBK. Offers up a good luck with on his own, but this time there's too much. The timing is too wrong. Sixers left on his lone trip. What are we going to... I really wonder about this... Um, why we don't see an AWP from... Oh, oh man. No. That is brutal. Tried to make the best play he could, but Tarek, the 180s are real. Pirouetting like Torval Torval and Dean. So NV back on the eco once again. It's going to be 7-1, but now we should surely see an AWP coming out onto, uh, onto Kenny S on the next buy. But you do wonder. Uh, they're not, again, they're not afraid to, to spend more money than you normally would if you have an opera on your team. But uh, it's really very interesting that they've had two occasions to, to buy an AWP and haven't chosen to do so. Yes, it would be no, with no armor, but he's no stranger to that. It's, I, it is a bit irksome, isn't it? I mean, especially considering that we've been seeing some great form from him, but maybe he just doesn't feel confident this early with the AWP. It's hard to say. But again, you also feel as though if, you, if you're talking about a way to make big plays, that aggressive AWP on overpass, that is, that is where, you, where it happens. You know, the likes of Ball and likes of Device, you see it so commonly. It just, it just characterizes as a centerpiece of a CT side on overpass. So I would really, I really, really need to see this. We need to see this from Envious. They have to start getting it open to the hands of Kenny S. And once again, you know, Optic are in this situation where they're so comfortable. And in rounds like this, they're up against pistols. No utility for Envious. They just play their methodical anti-eco. They just keep it tight. Everyone's watching each other's backs pretty much. They're sticking together. They have one guy who's alone, but he's in such a position that he cannot get possibly caught off guard. And he's got he's playing from the maximum ranges. It's just optimal, James. I love things that are optimal. Close course is not optimal when you're on the anti-eco. Rush cleaning up though. Very nice stuff. Keeping the gun out of the hands of uh, his opponents as well. Two plays left, we can see if any damage can be done. Maybe it'll play a part in a later round. So Kenny's gonna have about $5,000 in the next round. I think one of his teammates has a little bit more than he does. So we'll see if the AWP comes out for the side or if they'll continue to not have their, one of their biggest asset on their team. All right, let's see it, guys. Let's see, let's see the AWP on Kenny. There it is. There it is, up onto Kenny S. Yes. Now, he doesn't have, as mentioned, money for Kevlar, but again, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. It might be for this particular round, though, because if you look at how forward his spawn is, he could get grenaded. But the thing is, like, they could have had this this AWP three times yeah. with no armor, which, again, he is, we've seen so commonly from him. But finally, he's here. We'll see if he can get a pick off. He's going to be going for it, and as you said, the pre-nades could be a problem. Let's see if we're going to see them from Optic. I've just immediately smoked off there by the CT. So a forward setup playing around this, the, the smoke aggressively are envious here, really mixing things up in that sense. But Optic again, fast sewers control. The bomb though is going to be spotted maybe by Apex and he'll just go down straight away. Now Kenny S is alone out there. There is Happy who's lurking around the toilets, who, who is somewhat near Kenny, but he's not near enough to really offer him too much support. Kenny's going for the play. Gets the spot in, but at the same time, Tarek with an opening towards B, I think it's very clear right now for Optic that they can just hit the B bomb site and be good to go. How do Envy get back into this round? They need to get that up into uh, an aggressive position, but they're, they're at the mercy of Optic at the moment. Optic with all the map control, despite the best efforts of uh, Kenny and Co going forwards towards A. 
Kenny around the toilets now. That may slow down Opta Gaming, but Six is in trouble. He's got Tarek and Mixwell coming his way. And that's an open B bomb site. Happy and Kenny on the rotation. But it's a five versus two at this point. What can they do? And that, that could have been the way to get back into the round right there. We saw Sixer was able to find a one versus one. He has to win that. Then if he wins that, he would actually get a second one versus one against uh, one of the players coming from Monster, who was basically alone. And that, that would have evened up things. But yeah, it, it's nothing is working out for Envious. The shots are not being connected. And the, the thing is, is that if you look at Optic's play style, we saw them get the advantage. Then they sort of give you the rope to hang yourself. They, they basically slow down, slow down the play even more. They know that you're you're kind of itching to make the play because you have to do something. And so they're just waiting for it. They're set up against it. It seems like they always are in place to expect exactly what's, uh, what could possibly be coming at them. So they look so comfortable right now. And this 8-1 scoreline that we're going to be going into is it's scary, James. It's very scary for an envious fan. I think that's the first uh, orb kill. Yeah, it definitely is. It's the first orb and first orb kill we've seen from Kenny. But again, I, I think that... Uh, Envy has just made really strange decisions around the AWP. Again, you see Kenny popping some shots here and there, but it, but they could have had they could have had AWP no armor three times, in and and who knows what impacts that would have made. I mean, he's he's your opponent. Why isn't he opening? Yeah, and, and now it's a, an interesting spot for Envious because they don't have the best money in the world. But again, they're going to say, okay, we're going to have to just go for it. Actually, a little bit better than I thought. But uh, yeah, Kenny's got that AWP. I think he dropped a rifle actually. So Kenny actually, instead of being able to get like a board of Kevlar and so on, he dropped a rifle to a teammate and just bought a smoke grenade basically. So they can have full rifle set up. And let's see how that works. We've got the aggression coming in from MBK. The timing doesn't work out. Tarek's dead too fast. And once again, dominating control of Suez. At the same time though, Envy's gonna push long. That's not gonna happen either. Kenny has popped by Stannis, Stannis Law. Look at that beautiful position once again with a boost. All falling apart for Envy. Happy left in the water on his own, trying to do what he can, but he can't get anything done there. And Apex, his, his decisions have been taken away from them. They're just not getting the kills at this point. But that push that push towards uh, short B, I think there are better ways in which to do that because where NVK is throwing a Molotov, before you go around that corner, you can bounce a flashbang off the, off the sign pointing towards B, which will pop flash people coming out of the tunnel, and you can Molotov it. Um, from behind the wall, well in advance. So, with Envy, uh, sorry, with Optic pushing short B fast, that timing I don't think works out essentially. Way yeah. too late for those names to come in. Look at the money on Optic as well. Even if Envy managed to win one round of what little remains in this half, Optic are going to have constant full buys. So, the, the situation is a lot worse than the score implicates for Envy at this point. Yeah, Optic are really playing beautiful Counter-Strike right now. They're, they're just playing everything so smart, and Envious is not able to create enough chaos and have plays that really match up against Optic. And now we get the, we get the fast-paced anti-eco strategy, one of the, the most common, and let's see how it works out. Envious, uh, they do stack everybody around here, but again, we see a very strong, very coordinated push coming into Optic, and it will easily clean out the rest of the envious side. Damage incurred is not going to be impactful whatsoever, as mentioned by James just a moment ago. The money's unreal for Optic. It's irrelevant. His girlfriend thinks he's studying, but is his girlfriend a wife who below? That's a question, Dad. That is a question. Double orbs now coming out for Envy. They've gone from uh, skipping orbs on the first two buy rounds to double orbs on round 12 of the first half. Envy K with the second one. He is headed towards B once again. And uh, Optic looking to break them immediately. Optic in full Bane mode. Is it going to work out though? I'm not sure if this positioning will, work. It will be good for NBK and Co so far. So good though for the NB side. Apex coming in as well. Could this be the second round? It doesn't look too bad right at the offset. Two players left here for Optic. Make that one. Just rush in a one versus four. And the TT's no is Nice, clean kill of Apex to make the odds a little bit better. But still very difficult. Another one versus one for him. But Happy's going to win it this time. Yes, the double orb seemingly working out here for Envious against the fast player Optic, but they have a lot more to go to in their playbook. They need all the remaining rounds. That's a nice shot from NBK there. Apex popping out with good timing. They need all the remaining rounds on their CT side. Optic with enough cash in the bank to uh, survive all the remaining rounds. All three, including this one. 
Kenny. This is the angle that Edward from Na'Vi used to peek all the time, and he never got punished for it. Literally never, not once. Mixwell getting taken down towards the bomb site. Lovely boost from MBK. He's got Tarek in the short B, and he will soon be dispatched off as well. This is a great start for Envy in what little they have to recover from this half. They're actually winning some battles now. This is this is good, but look at Naf. He's actually managed to find himself behind enemy lies. Wow! Naf with a quick two-man, and all of a sudden, the round completely changes. Naf is searching for the next player. Oh, man! Naf! Another one for him. Single-handedly demolishing the Envy defense. And now the bomb slowly makes its way up towards the A bomb site as Naf just sits on B, waiting for potential rotation. But here it is, Stanislaw with the plant on A. Naf looking for that Christmas bonus. We'll see if he can get the A. Rush may deny him, looking for Apex. But he won't be able to do it. Kenny will save the day for now. Apex is burning for this smoke, but Stanislaw's there, leaving Kenny alone. He's got 3200 dollars in the bank and he can't get anything done. 11th round for Optic. Naf, what a beast, man. It's just, it's, that was just such an incredible play. Everything was looking great for Envious until that point. Naf's like, get that money, get that money. And the, the thing about this as well is that Optic, in all the rounds that they've won previously, it's been because they're just making good decisions and playing really well as a team, playing well within their comfort zone and the plays. You know, we're not really seeing much improvisation because they don't need to do it. And that's one of the spots where it's like, actually, yeah, there's a lot of sick players who can just explode as well if they're in a bad spot and can just steal a round away. And that's, that is a really nice time for, for Optic to do that because now Envious, they are on the worst by two rifle, well, three rifles, a couple pistols. And once again, we're back into a round we've seen many times, James. Just Optic playing it super slow because they know that Envious are hurt. If Optic are to win the ECS finals, they will be breaking, surely, a lot of records for Counter-Strike teams a short space of time as well. Only one player for Envy towards the long position. Kenny having to run all the way back to the side again. Envy have to try and exploit their numbers with what little weaponry they have in this round. One minute on the clock for Optic to continue their charge, clearing out the long area. See the numbers on the A site for the CCs. NBK in six towards B. Not in a position to rotate at the moment, but here comes the charge. Tarek looking for open the proceedings. K-popping out there with the M4. Buying time for his team. Only good for one, though. Yeah, great uh, great entry, fra uh, entry fragging here from Optic. Rush and Naf going off. And now they've got the ability to just plant on the front of the sites and fall back if they want to, but they're actually trying to take some forward positions here. They don't need to do that, but it doesn't really matter here for Envy. It's just six are left with a FAMAS. As he darts in, it's going to be very hard to find these kills because Optic is starting to fade away. He's starting to force him to commit into wide angles where he is exposed to multiple players. Train Fragger comes in in the name of Rush, and that is the 12 2. Optic look incredibly good this morning. Good thing for Envy, at least, is it's a best of three because this is a very scary start for the French side. Happy and Six are, well, almost no one's got kills really on the NV side, so there's no point even mentioning who has what at this point. 12 to two, last round, and full pistols for Envy as we move closer to the second half. Tech nines for all but one of the Optic side as well, make sure for Optic for the uh, P250. Always good to upgrade your pistols in the last round if you've got the money for it, and Optic definitely do. Reasonable amounts of grenades for Envy, so maybe time can be bought with these. If they can ruin the timing of Optic when they want to start pushing, then perhaps they can thrive on the bedlam of what is to come. And again, you know, Optic just not really being taxed. They just go to discipline plays over and over again. It's been working out beautifully well. Envious, it's so hard for Envious to attack Envy, even if you know what they're doing. Because it's so optimal, it's, it's hard to even attack into it because Optic are able to deal with all of that, playing at these good, great ranges. Well, Envious, though, know to stack the players in the right spot. So Optic can still go towards B. They still have a man towards B, which is Nafly. He's not got Swiss control or connector control, though, so that is a question mark on the map for Optic still. They are soon going to find some action here. Rush finds Kenny S towards the toilets. There's one more lurking. He's gone as well. Rush is just wiping them out. Now it's just one more player on the A bomb side. Happy getting tagged in the back by Mixwell. Through the smoke actually as well. And that's going to be 
That's, that should be it, James. That should be it here for Envious. I don't see what MBK and Tixer can do here. Two versus five with Eagles. Not a good look. Best of luck, Sixer. Be honest, Eagle. That is a loud finish to a brutal half. 13 to 2 in favor of Optic Gaming. How do you come back from this, NB? NB may be favored on the terrorist side. If they can win the pistol, then perhaps we can see comebacks the like of which we saw last night. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's, it's really sad again not to see the AWP in more situations early on because after those first two or three big buy rounds, the money for Optic because they play their anti ecos anti force buys so dis in such a disciplined way, Hashtag it's below. got just way too out of control. So, Envious on the pistol round, they got a couple couple men with grenades, which is always cool to see. It's becoming more and more common. And three players with Kevlar. Nath though, oh, oh man! man. <laughs> so it just drops in there, but he does get traded here. So Envious with something to work with. Stanislaw posting up on the uh, short B position. Mixos pushed through Monster Tunnel as well, looking to flank immediately. This is the optic that we love to see at the moment. Happy though, he's creeping. He's creeping. Can he find a rush? Turret's being picked off. There's opportunity now, straight in the head. P250 drops as well, we should mention that. Has almost doubled the range of a Glock on the headshots for, well, one shot rather, on a pistol round. Stanislaw still in that short B position. That's the bomb as well. See now Mixwell's in control of the bomb. Problem for Envy. Yeah, they have a crossfire, the door opened. Oh man, that is such a beautiful setup between Mixwell and Stanislaw. What a play from them. And now Happy has to clutch. He's so good with pistols, and he has to go down this now. The guys be spotted. This just gives it away. Mixwell takes the frag, and it's stolen away from Envious. They had a good start going in there, but Optic too strong. 14 to two. Man, this is this is crushing, James. What, what do you say about this one? That was really awkward for Happy because he had grenades and P250. He had no armor. If you have armor and you're getting shot in the chest, it might take six shots to kill you. If you have no armor, it's going to take a lot less than that. So. He doesn't even see Mixlar before he goes down. Disaster strikes for Envy. Four Spy, of course. One Tech 9 and four Deagles. One grenade. They've got one flashbang. With all those Deagles, maybe they need less utility. If they can find the headshots. I was looking so good for Envy, but then bombs yep. drops and they get stuck in a crossfire in connector. That is a horrible way to die. It is. Very grim indeed. Nothing going their way th uh, in this first map. Alright, so Optic just waiting for the push to come in. Bit of info there for Mixwell. Playing with the UMP, trying to keep his ranges, uh, or trying to keep to the medium range. As the long range kind of sucks with that UMP. But be careful of MBK as well here, as well as we can see with the Deagle. These long ranges looking to try to open things up for his team a little bit. There is time to wait, but also his teammates are moving. Closer and closer to the A bomb site here. They're looking to just go for the straight up split with these pistols. There's the first headshot comes in from Apex. That's good stuff. Now Mixwell has got a lot to do here with this UMP, but he does have some help. Rush is there by truck, and in they go with the flashbangs. Rush is just annihilating them. Three kills for him. USB comes out for the finishing blows, and Happy is about to die as well, I think. Or maybe not. Two versus two. 40 seconds. Time to play with Apex. Can't find a fatal kill. Happy, how does he avoid? He, he has to get the one shots here and he can't avoid it, uh, afford to get traded. With Nafly's oh, okay. Naf position behind the box, he would have had to pick the other player really, really deep and then was uh, very likely to have the 2v1 situation, but Nafly's not waiting around. M uh, game point for Optic, Nuke is the next map once we get there. Last chance saloon for Envy. Man, look at them lining up for Rush. That position there on the truck is so, so good. The angles that you can get, this, it can be quite common that they're all the players that you're looking at are in, in a similar place on your, next to your crosshair. And it's, uh, it's, it's such a beautiful way to take engagement. You can see how strong it is. Now, Optic on match point already, James. This, or oh, sorry, game point. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a good start for Envy, but probably too late at this point. Lots of smokes, lots of flashes. Maybe that suggests an A play. Maybe it's a wall of smokes to get a bomb plant. Ooh. NBK's delivering elsewhere. Great start from uh, from NV. This is called cool, cool the one and done position. NBK not expecting that one. He has a teammate in tow, but he's carrying the bomb. That's Apex. He's got to be very careful here. If he goes down, he won't go down. Never mind. Stanislaw. In front of the truck. Ooh, instant headshot, instant trade. Leaves Rush alone. And now there are two M4s on his force fire, which means all these Envy players have armor. So 
This is horrible for Rush, but he is playing at the peak of his abilities. Ah, too much to ask. Sitter with great positioning. Envy not out of it just yet. Yeah, sealing away around. Takes a, a large degree of mental fortitude to bring yourself back from this position. Just hearing that. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> so casual. Just casual headshot. Why not? Easy for NBK. So 12 game points for Envy to fight against. Optic for the time being will be on the pistols. But many a game has been lost in uh, versus such a bite. Envy cannot take this lightly. And a deep smoke coming in again. Relatively new smoke to overpass in competitive play, I would say. But uh, it gets there quite late. You can see the teaser beyond it already. So its impact is somewhat minimal. Optic have chosen to stack around the toilets for those close quarters engagements as opposed to on the sites. That could take Envy by surprise. Yeah, it's a really cool setup actually. And as you said, the, the pistols are very dangerous. And one player spotted. Now Tarek knows that he's pretty much the spotting's baited. He used, oh sorry, he's used as the bait. Out comes Mixwell. On the other side though, we've got six to taking down Mixwell. So you can see all these long avenues. The rifles just dominate them. Tarek though, and Nav starting to find themselves kills as well, and all of a sudden it's a two versus two, how did it come to this point? We've got two rifles on these Optic players, and they have Kevlar, Tarek has a helmet as well. This is very losable at this point from Envious. They can plant the bomb though, but they're deciding to go, I think, for rotation. Or are they going back to wait? No, the full rotation comes in from Kenny. Tarek's in position already though, but he doesn't have the right angle, We're making noise as well. But now he's in a headshot position and he won't get a headshot. Down goes Kenny, down goes the bomb. 30 seconds, NBK looking for the flank. You can see he thinks that uh, there's probably one CT in both areas and he was correct. One player was around connected, but now that rotation has come in from that flank. He can cover Tarek's back should that be required. NBK can afford no mistakes. Left to pre fine that's just going to give uh, more info to CT to see Nafly popping out, even though he's got 14 HP. No fear from these Optic players. Oh, oh, there it man. is, 16 to 3. Envy were never in the game. What a rude awakening for Envious, having to play against Optic like that. And Opti sure, Optic got off to a great start. Sure, we saw like a